lucky orange one here. So we're going to actually start off with just um, going to sleep. Um, so basically in the last episode, we got a little friend. We're kind of sick. Um, we took some of the medical mutagen. Um, we're not doing great in terms of health. Uh, we're, we're working on it, you know. We're going to make ourselves some, some tea. Um, no. I can't. Why can I not drink it? Whatever. Let's, let's drink our tea now. And we have, like, a lot of other food, so we really are fine. Um, we just need to get ourselves taken care of, because we've, we've taken mutagen recently. Our character's all kinds of messed up. Um... But basically, we need to get our, our more medicine, and it looks like we've become addicted to mutagen or something. I don't know. We're apparently a normal human. No need to worry. I'm, I think that's like a precursor to what's coming. I'm not sure exactly how it all works. Um, do I want to shoot right here? Nah, let's, let's get the Jane out. Draw the Jane. Um, can I drop this and these? Yes. Okay. Cool. I'm going to just see what I can do melee-wise. Um, and yeah, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. What are these things all right here? Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time adjusting this tile set after not using it for so long. Um, let's see, I might want to take this backpack and switch out that molly pack. Can I insert anything that was in the molly pack? Or, or I don't know. Can I open this? Yeah. Oh, yeah, those, those things um, need to go. Oh, why am I carrying the chemistry set and the medium battery? All that stuff could stay in the car, actually, honestly. Can I just put that? I think the chemistry set goes in the front, right? Yeah, it does. Okay. Um. Oh, the battery was in it. Duh. I can't. It's. It gets so confusing, man. It really does. And the towel. I really should keep the towel on me. Why don't I go ahead and insert that into the backpack? I know, riveting stuff, right? I'm switching out what bag I've got my towel in. It's important. The molly bag was badly burnt. Um, so, it was gonna get busted up, I think, soon anyways. We're gonna go kinda quiet in here. At least so we don't draw things right next to where our guys are. We'll kind of just clear the streets a little bit, get our melee skills up a little bit. Uh, let's get that going. I'm sure we'll get that on as well. I mean, we could get rid of our pain. That might be a good idea. Just don't want to leave it on too long. You know? Maybe we leave it on if we get into a fight and we need it to just kind of numb things for a little bit. Okay, they've all seen us. Wow, I must like smell really bad or something. Where are you right here? Predator? Sure, come, come here. Oh, I should probably drop that in the gun too. Yeah, we're gonna go melee on these guys. I'm not really afraid of them. What is this right here? A putrid? Uh, and yeah, let's get the putrid. Cool. We should probably have our gas mask on, but it's a little late now. Yeah, it's a little late right now. We'll just, uh... Okay, now we need... Okay, we're see we're getting into a little little melee right now, and we'll be fine. We just need to 
manage things appropriately. Okay, we got a corrosive zombie here. That needs to go. Uh, am I standing in acid? I am. I need to get out of that. And that corrosive is still... Oh my gosh. Get out of, get out of this. Um, what is going on here? Sensory dueling, adrenal pump. Come on. Are you kidding me? Get out of the acid, dude. Okay, I am legit a little bit worried for our character's life right here. Uh, can I get the vehicle between us so they can't hit me? Yes, I can. Cool. No, they're still hitting me. Dang it. Alright, we need to just get out of line of sight of that, that corrosive right now. Like, they, they seriously almost killed us. Like, no joke. That was insane. Okay, um... I don't have any ranged weapons. Can we get out this way? Uh... I would un be unable to return back down. Is the corrosive coming in here? Do I have bandages? I do. He's on that torso. That is insane. That's like a very upsetting amount of damage. Oh no, it's seen me. It's bleeding too, apparently. Can I just, like, hide in here and have it bleed to death? I can hear it. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I want to climb onto a building that I don't know if I can get down from. I think we're just gonna wait it out in here. <gasps> oh my gosh, that thing, like, seriously almost killed me. Just gonna wait maybe more than five minutes. Um, hold on. You can turn that off because now I'm tired because of all that sensory dulling that I've been having. Great. Um, still hearing some stuff to our side here, huh? Yeah, I don't really care about. The lack of mutagen, what I care about is the corrosive that's probably waiting right there for me. Eh, maybe not, though. Can I grab that? Uh, it's too heavy for us. Should have expected that. And the corrosive is still there. Dang it. And we could probably kill it. To be honest, probably kill the corrosive at this point now that we've recovered this much. How am I doing? Mutagen withdrawal. I think if we got our adrenaline going, we could probably kill it. Let's do it. Let's get the adrenaline on. Um. As long as I'm not standing in acid, I'm okay. Cool. Alright. Um, do I want to move them? And then... Because I was having the game crash when I was trying to butcher. I'm trying to see if it's going to crash again. On this. Oh, no. It looks good. Cool. Let's just wait a little bit. Uh, acid clear out. Jeez. I can't believe we, like, seriously. We almost died there. One acid streak. 
<laughs> now I'd be coughing heavily over here, like sick and like almost dead. Can I, do I have the uh, antiseptic as well? It does not look like I do. Okay, cool. We're in the clear. I don't think we really need it though. Our torso uh, vial, what is a vial? I'm hallucinating. Ignore it. <laughs> we do have adrenaline going right now. I do need to keep that in mind. Okay, there's two nadirs there. I'm gonna pick up my gun. We're not gonna go melee right now. <laughs> Put that away and wield. I'm having a hard time seeing the actual weapon because there's just. Yeah, there we go. Okay. I think that we're okay. Um, definitely gonna secure our kills make sure these guys aren't getting back up i mean we could try and go for the the vet right now i think you know what it was it was probably us coughing that drew all those zombies to us you know honestly We got adrenaline rush. I think I'm feeling pretty good with the adrenaline rush going, and we're like in here without being detected. Okay, cool. Yeah, let's uh, check this place out. Let's see what we can find. I'm just gonna grab basically everything and then see if it lets me use that as a medical mutagen ingredient later. A machete. <laughs> Just what? Okay. It's a weird veterinary office. Oh, there's a pet carrier. I would really like that actually. Because that's you can put not just pets in that, it's a really good item. Yeah, it's gotta not be nothing in there, I don't think. Doors locked, okay, whatever. We're gonna need like a lock pick, I think something and you can make makeshift lockpicks super easy in the game right this is the physical chemistry book in the bathroom no big deal <laughs> okay i think the medicine stuff's like back there um let's see i know that we could probably get back to our car pretty easy and get like a proper lock Pick and the stethoscope kit that we're gonna need. Let's just do that while we're up here. Is this uh, what I think it is? Is this one of those? Yeah, it is. I'm just curious if I've already unloaded this. It looks like I have. Yeah, it looks like this has all been unloaded. Cool, okay. Looks good to me then. Let's get back to the car. Hello, fellas. Don't mind me, I've just been out almost dying over here. Uh, let's see, lockpick kit. And the staff. There we go. And, you know, I think we actually have, like, those telescopic eyes and some other stuff that I kind of wanted to install. So we could do that. I don't think we're going to get to that probably this episode, but we'll get to it maybe next episode. So I'm thinking. Okay. I really just want the medical supplies that are in the, this, this place, potentially. Oh, hello, grappler. Um... I guess we're gonna want to use our Jane here. Just drop it. It's fine. Yeah, we don't need to get like the other stuff put away or anything. Oh, I just damaged my tool apparently. 
Wow. Okay. Um, how do I repair this? Our welder? Really? That is insane. If I look at this, it's a cl it's just a wooden door. Let's see if I can smash it. Nope, I can't smash it. I'm a, I'm a weakling. At least with the thing that I'm trying to smash it with. That's kind of upsetting. <laughs> I mean, we can try it a l another time, I think, our lockpick kit. Damaging the tool. Okay, yeah, it's it's basically trash now. I, I'm worried that we may have damaged it beyond repair. You know what, I'm going to actually just get the car and drive it down. This area looks pretty deserted. Looks pretty clear. Maybe we'll do the repair job and then we'll get a little bit closer. In this city, we did do a pretty good job of clearing out, right? Let's see, where's that welder? these in there yeah I mean, we have like so many resources at this point it's just a matter of um, using them basically you know all the way please oh what it ran out of charges really I guess I really messed this thing up huh It's a 5% chance each time. There we go. That's that's looking a lot better. Um, I'm a little bit worried that when we drive that this guy might get a little bit hurt. I think he's fine as long as we don't go too fast, right? And I should probably once again open up my my windows as I'm driving <laughs> I'm I'm a little bit upset that we got like all those bad traits like forgetful and whatnot in the last episode but I think it's gonna be fine because if I just spend some time like going through like the houses and the bathrooms in the city we'll have more than enough you know honestly of we'll way more than enough In this city, I've cleared out large, huge sections of it, and I haven't really looted much of it. And there's even, even in the science lab, there's, I think, some medical things I just kind of left. I was just like, I don't need medicine, you know? Man, this, this tool... What do I need for it? Scrap metal. Can I just make some... Uh, we're gonna need like more battery power anyways. This is like insane how much it it chews through. Trying to get into this door. I'm just gonna smash it down with like a crowbar or something. Do I have like a halogen bar? Do I have any bar? Of any I've got a makeshift crowbar but I don't think that'll work I mean it'll help me smash things which will help me maybe feel better I don't know let's just dump some of the stuff that we don't really need like, oh like the pet carrier maybe I am actually pretty excited about that about having the pet carrier we can also turn all that in. Yeah, it looks like we basically have ran out of storage space in, in our vehicle here. Um, can I reload this welder, please? Thank you, and we'll dump these other batteries in there. Man, I didn't think it would be so difficult to get that that 
door unlocked. I think they must have changed a little bit about how these locksmith kits work now. I don't remember it being this difficult. I'm gonna just honestly put the locksmith kit down and the welder down. Do I get the crowbar? West. Yep. I think we only need one. So let's see if I can smash my way in now. And we're actually really tired, so that might be part of our issue. Our strength is really low. And when it's like that low, it's actually kind of hard to... Can't get sufficient leverage. Can I... Yes, I can smash my way in. Yeah, take that. Thought you could keep me out. I don't need a lock pick my way in. Even half sick and addicted to mutagen, I can open this. <laughs> okay, that might work. Is this part of what we need? Not sure. How weird. Okay, whatever. We got some stuff. I think I'm gonna honestly just drive our car around. And hey, look, we're like fully healed after that near-death experience with that acidic zombie. Man, like seriously, I thought that was I thought that could have been it. Um Like all these houses, did I really loot them all? Or did I just kinda like loot them? You know what I mean? Or you just do like a quick pass and you're like, eh, nothing that I want. Because there could be like heartburn meds or whatever, like also just on the ground from like the dead zombies. So if I like wanted to look at things, can I search for like a category like drug? Yeah, I can. Okay, so there's category drug. So if I do C, drug. See, I don't think that really helps me too much, but if I check enough places, I bet you we, we get something. Okay, buddy, I need you staying in there. I know you're my Minotaur man. Let's see. Any drugs in here? Yeah, it's I don't know what's going on with the basement spawn in my map. Anything in here? I mean, there's ammonia. I'll take it. Sure. Um, nothing else here? No. Okay. Yeah, see, like, there's also things like ammonia and whatnot that I should be checking these houses for. Like, that's a really good crafting ingredient, like, honestly. It's kind of crazy that I just, like, left that there. Um, I don't know if I actually have space for it. The ammonia, that is. Yep, okay, cool. Guess I'm just gonna put that in the mini fridge. But, like, yeah, check this out, I bet. If we go into these bathrooms, some of them might have something, or just like even outside. Like, yeah, look, there's tramadol right there. Like, if we just check our, our bowel grounds, you know, we'll get some stuff. And maybe, I don't, I don't think that that was a crafting ingredient, but maybe it was. Could have been. Definitely could have been. I don't think these were an ingredient either. I'm just gonna grab them because it's like basically just like it's potentially very useful. You know? See anything in there? No. Okay. What about here? What is that? A towel? Okay, um... Nothing there. 
arcade sky and not probably have anything. Maybe I'm wrong though. Maybe that's where all the, the drugs really are. <laughs> Okay. Doesn't look like this door's locked. There we go, jeez. Come on. Um nothing. Okay. Nothing. Oh well, this place actually got kind of torn apart. Anything down there? No. Okay, abandoned warehouse. Eh, could have some stuff like these. Like, see, there's all these houses. Like, they could definitely have some stuff in here. Yeah, I think we're pretty clear out here, so I'm not too worried about using that. <laughs> Anything in there? See, like, the calcium tablets might be something that we can use. Not sure, though. Yeah, I think that we might be best used just, like, create crafting, like, our own poppy stuff. Oh, look. There we go. That's, that's some good stuff. Yeah, like, an ambulance or two. And what we really need to do is look for, like, doctor's office. Like, I think there's a search fu function as well. Right? Is this one... Actually, quite a few of them. There's one that's just right there, which we've looted. There's another one to our east, which we have not looted. Plainstown, have I cleared out? Plainstown, though? I feel like... Is that, that's like, where is that? Is that over here? Yeah, there is some stuff like here that we could make our way over to like Reed Plantation. Where was the hub from here? Because <laughs> remember, I want to get to the hub. Yeah, the hub's all right here. Way to the west. Okay, uh... I bet, though, that, like, Cornwall has, like, some stuff and whatnot. I bet. I need some medical stuff in the research lab that we, we missed. What if I did, like, other vets? Because there's... Uh... A couple of them, actually, around here. So there's the one that I was just at, right? Which was there. Oh, this is Veteran of Foreign Affairs. Sorry, wrong one. Okay, yeah, these are actually pretty far away. Uh, what about pharmacy? Because we can search with the pharmacy, right? Pharmacy 76. And it says I've been there, but I, I've got a pretty good feeling that I haven't really looted it. Same with that one. So let's maybe go to, like, the Waitsfield one here. Can I uh, set, like, that as, like, a destination, maybe? Yeah, I would need to... Yeah. I don't know. It's kind of like, what's what's the best way to get the medical mutagen stuff? I feel like that stuff's so far away, maybe it's just best to craft it, you know? Because we can just go out to... I've done it before where I just went out to the field and, like, searched for poppies for a while. And I mean, it took a little while, but it was doable, and it was totally safe. And yeah, it was fine. I might do that. I might just take these guys out because this seems so ridiculous. I might just go out into these fields here. I mean, yeah.
There was also these houses that I did want to check. Oh, I just destroyed a Scar Heavy magazine. That's a shame. Let me let me just take a second to check one of these. I just feel like I should. You know? They just tend to have some stuff in these houses. It can be of value. I'm just being kind of very narrow-minded right now in what I am considering of value because I just want the stuff. And it doesn't seem to be as productive as I hoped it would be. But I think I'm just going to go out into the field and pick poppies. Basically. <laughs> Hold on. Again, I'm doing it. That's a lot, lot, lot better. Okay. Yeah, we're pretty much in the clear now. Oh yeah, I forgot there was acidic ants that were just like all around here. Right, okay. Um, I'm gonna switch the tile sets back to something I'm more familiar with and then just like hunt for poppies. I might do some of that on camera, but probably it's gotta be off camera. Um, just kind of knowing my schedule. Um, no, hold on. I'm just gonna end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.